Pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, or PEI, follows on from damage to the pancreas, and this is usually related to chronic pancreatitis with scarring and inflammation. When that happens, the pancreas is not then able to produce the fluid and the enzymes in the bicarbonate to secrete into the small bowel to mix with food. And when that happens, the food, instead of being broken up and digested, then scurries on down the small bowel into the large bowel without being fully digested. And this has a number of consequences. Firstly, as you can expect, if the food isn't broken down and digested, it can't be absorbed into the body, and that then leads to malnutrition. Lack of calories, lack of protein, lack of fats, means that people tend to lose weight. But it's more complicated than that because, for example, fats carry on board vitamins, what are called fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. And the pancreatic enzymes also help absorb vitamin B12. So if there is malabsorption, then not only do we lose the so-called macronutrients that help us maintain or gain weight, but we also lose the micronutrients, and so we can suffer from vitamin deficiencies. The other thing that happens with this is that because the food is not absorbed, it then passes out of the small bowel into the large bowel. And the large bowel is not really designed for absorbing nutrients. What it does is generally is to absorb fluid from the stool. And in the large bowel, that's where we have all of the bacteria, the so-called microbiome. And when the bacteria in the microbiome are given this food that's not been absorbed in the small bowel, they then start to break it down and they produce chemicals and other things that trigger the large bowel to move more rapidly. And so we get the other things that occur with pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, which is that the unabsorbed food then passes rapidly through the large bowel. It causes diarrhea, which is watery stools, or even what's called steatorrhea, which is fatty, oily, or greasy stools that are difficult to flush away. And because of the rapid transit and because it triggers the bowel to contract more rapidly and move things along, and because the bacteria break the food down and produce gas, people with PEI have abdominal pain, they have cramps, they have gas, and they have to go to the bathroom frequently, and they pass these watery, oily stools that are difficult to flush away.